you probably know who Ichika is already. He is an amazing guitar player and he has been doing very well on YouTube. He has a 20 minute video where he shows how he writes a song in real time. I thought it was fascinating. I was trying to figure out what he was doing while he was doing it so I could analyze it because I'm a theory nerd and I learned a couple of cool things that I would like to share with you guys. This riff is in the key of E major. The first part goes something like this. This is our one chord E major. Then we have this. But the first time that he's playing this, as he's coming out with the chord progression, he plays it like this. This is a very nice voicing for a minor chord that I've never seen before. And in this case, F sharp minor, our second degree. Keep in mind that this is a first inversion, meaning that the third of the chord is in the bass. Now, this is my favorite part. As he's trying to come up with the chord progression, he plays this. First, he repeats the exact same minor chord shape, but one whole step higher. This is G sharp minor, our third degree chord. Then he goes from here to here. The only difference here is that we're taking the minor third and turning it into a major third. G sharp minor turns into G sharp major. G sharp major is not in the key of E major. However, making the third degree a major chord turns it into the fifth degree of the relative minor. In this case, G sharp major wants to resolve to C sharp minor, and that's precisely our next chord. He then replaces that voicing with this one. He ended up getting rid of the G sharp minor and he goes straight from the F sharp minor to the G sharp major. So our final progression is something like this. E major, F minor, G sharp minor, and C sharp minor. Our degree numbers are 1, 2, 3 major, and 6. It has a very signature Ichika sound. It's very emotional. It's dramatic and unstable. It goes straight from the major scale to the minor in the first few bars. It gets sad really fast. And now you can do it as well. And that's pretty much it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments. And if you want to see more videos like this, you can subscribe so you don't miss anything. And that's it. Bye.